When night falls, everyone goes to sleep. <sighs> Because of the nightmare she keeps having, Jenny is always feeling down. Charlie's the friend who just woke up. People sleep at night, but Charlie's routine is the opposite. When Jenny falls asleep, that's when the stuffed toy Charlie's day begins. He dances alone like this when he's bored at night. Charlie always wishes happiness for his friend Jenny. All Charlie, the little stuffed toy, could do was arrange the shoes Jenny had taken off and pray for her while she had a nightmare. When nothing else is going on, he looks out the window at the moon and makes a wish. <laughs> at that moment, someone's voice was heard from in the room. Hmm. Hi Charlie, it's nice to meet you. you enter her dream. You can't stay long, but you can enter her dream. I wish you luck. must be inside Jenny's dream. Charlie is puzzled, but he has to go inside the building first. That cool, hardworking hippo is the head of a dream-making organization called the Dream Center. A new friend is coming to help Dylan with his busy work today. Look at Dylan smiling. First, Dylan explained to Charlie how important an errand is and where he had to go. And he warned Charlie. Hmm. Be careful, because not long ago, an employee on an errand went missing. Perhaps because of that, Dylan had a lot on his mind. I've shown Jenny the perfect dream every day for 11 years. But recently, I've noticed something's different. Hearing that, Charlie was scared, but he wanted to take this opportunity to give Jenny beautiful dreams. Dylan wasn't sure if Charlie was going to make it, but he seemed confident, so Dylan trusted him. Charlie is ready to go on an adventure, hoping Jenny will laugh with him like she used to. Dylan and Charlie stood together in front of the airfield, Dylan told Charlie that this paper airplane would take him where he needed to go. This is Charlie's first time leaving without Jenny, so he's pretty excited. Look at the beautiful sky. Isn't it exciting? Charlie doesn't look scared. <laughs> Is it because of Jenny's cute doodles on the plane? <laughs> Charlie's just arrived at Abby's lab, where they make pieces of dreams. 
When Jenny doesn't sleep, Abby releases the sheep and makes her count them. Charlie, don't doze off. Get up and go to the lab. Abby is coming right now. Abby is always neat and calm. Abby asked Charlie if he was a new intern. Haha. <laughs> Abby says she's surprised because she's never seen such a young employee before. Abby makes a dream sculpture every day to make the dream Jenny needs. If it's a message to protect Jenny, she doesn't spare any materials. Abby's job is to combine important materials from Jenny's memory to make a piece that goes into her dream. Charlie, I know you're curious, but it's dangerous to touch anything. Oh, be careful. And she asks Charlie, what kind of dream do you want to make with this material? Charlie thought about it, but he still wasn't sure what kind of dream would make Jenny happy. In the end, he couldn't answer her. Abby is telling Charlie to go where the dreams are being shown. <laughs> seems excited to get on the plane again. Before he knew it, he was in a new place. Ah. Someone is talking enthusiastically over there. The gentleman in that hat over there is Rich Kong. <laughs> And the one with the cool necklace is hip -cop. Charlie goes over and strikes up a conversation. The Kongs brothers kindly give a brief description of the theater. If you bring a piece of a dream, you can screen any dream here. Charlie asks Rich Kong, what kind of dream will be shown today? Rich Kong doesn't know what Jenny's dream will be, but he hopes it cheers her up. In response, Charlie asked what he had to do to make a happy dream. Hip Kong said memories are probably what you need for a happy dream. Charlie wanted to ask more about happiness, but it was time for him to go back home. <laughs>